Good morning, everyone. It is my great pleasure to welcome you all to MTech Europe 2021. Doubly so as I'm speaking to you now from the outskirts of Boston, a sister city to Belfast, Northern Ireland, a tech-focused, forward-thinking city, and of course, the hub of MTech Europe this year. We meet as much of the developed world as emerging from the COVID nightmare, but with a long journey still to travel out of danger for much of the globe. MIT Technology Review has chartered our battle through the pandemic over the last 15 months and has highlighted the crucial role played by our health innovators in creating the COVID-19 vaccines. Of course, right at the vanguard of that scientific response have been the founders of BioNTech, who will address you shortly. Tomorrow, we will hear from another outstanding ambassador for life-saving messenger RNA technology, Kenneth Chen, co-founder of Moderna. MTech is a suite of conferences linked to MIT Technology Review around the globe. Moving into the world of virtual conferences has been no small challenge for us. Now, on the other hand, the fun of having a virtual conference which spans Europe is that you get to visit dynamic hubs of innovation without having to leave your armchair. And we promise to deliver you a whirlwind tour. Today, we will drop into Germany to meet the generator manufacturer, Greco, spend time in the tiny nation state of Andorra, pause a while in Switzerland to meet the green pioneers of Neustark and Climeworks, enjoy the famed Finnish hospitality of, mayor, of the mayor of Lati, Pekka Timonen, and take flight with Hart Aerospace in Sweden. For some time, Ireland has been recognized as potentially the Saudi Arabia of wind power. However, it's only recently that you've started to grasp that opportunity. And today we'll hear how companies like Wallbox, Lucid, and Carboculture are planning to, take, to create thousands of jobs in manufacturing the new cars, chargers, aircraft, and carbon sequestration machines needed to propel us toward net zero emissions. Similarly, we'll hear how companies like Artemis, Energia, and B9 Energy in Northern Ireland are forging a green future with high-skilled, well-paid, sustainable jobs, manufacturing the green buses, ships, and hydrogen fuel infrastructure of the future economy. Tomorrow, we'll focus on the latest breakthroughs in health tech and explore the many challenges of AI. The European data space, telemedicine, and personalized medicine will all be under the microscope in our health track, when we will be joined by a stellar cast, including George Church of Harvard Medical School and Hans Lerach, of Max Planck Institute in Germany. AI thought leaders, including Azim Azar, presenter of the Exponential View podcast, and Joanna Bryson of the Hurdy School in Berlin, and Nicole Egan of Darktrace will lead our consideration of the pros and cons of the ongoing machine learning revolution. This impressive program is part of our shared goal at MTech to bring together the brilliant minds that are helping improve lives and build stronger communities around the world. Goals encapsulated in MTech Europe's conference theme, forging a brighter future. But we can only do that together, of course. And I wanna thank our local hosts in Belfast, led by Conlon McCann of Idling Events and Tom Gray of Kanos. The gratitude goes as well to the government agencies, Invest Northern Ireland, Belfast City Council, and Matrix, who stepped up to enable Belfast to seize its moment to stage MTech Europe. Kudos also to the Magnificent Seven, the group of local tech companies who came together at an early stage to sponsor MTech Europe. Since then, they have been joined by others, but a special shout out goes to those founding partners, Unisquare, Athlac Northern Ireland, Liberty IT, Bizarre Voice, KPMG, Nueda, and Rapid7. You are in for a tech bonanza over the next 48 hours. Here at MIT Technology Review, we're delighted to be part of this new chapter for our sister city of Belfast. And we look forward, when times are more normal, to joining you in person in Belfast for MTech Europe 2022.